It started with this headline in the journal Nature, Don't Edit the Human Germline, a rare call for a halt to scientific research from the scientists themselves. This is a, a, an issue of really engineering human beings. Then last week, a second warning in the journal Science, a group of Nobel laureates and leading researchers calling for an urgently needed open discourse about new technology to manipulate the human genome. It has finally come to the point where we need to talk about how it will be used and by whom. By last Thursday, the scientists from the International Society for Stem Cell Research had echoed the call to slow down the research. So this is a, a development that I think was unexpected with the, in that it was happening so quickly. What has scientists suddenly so nervous? New techniques to cut and paste DNA, allowing them to add and remove genes in a way that is simpler and more accurate than ever before. The new tools make it technically possible to permanently alter genes that could be passed on to future generations. And there's word in the scientific community that those experiments are already happening. They can be used for great, great good, and there's uh, potentially curative therapies that can come out of it. It can also be used to cross a boundary that heretofore uh, collectively humanity has said we don't want to cross. The new techniques make it possible to delete faulty genes from families cursed with inherited diseases, but there are fears it could also open the door to designer babies. We are putting this on the table before we have the report of some random attempt in some random country to do something that's incredibly alarming. Many countries don't impose any restrictions on scientific research, although in Canada, the U.S. and most of Europe, there are regulations around experimenting with human eggs, sperm and embryos. At this point, there are no calls for additional laws to restrict the research. Rather, scientists are hoping to reach an international consensus about when, or even if, they should be tinkering with genes that can impact future generations. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.